It is my pleasure now to introduce the plenary address for this morning. Please join me in welcoming His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Saleh Abdullah Sada, Minister of Energy and Industry in Qatar since 2011. He's also the chairman of the Board of Pet Qatar Petroleum and chairman to several companies within the energy industry. Sabah al khair, tfaddal. Sabah al khair. Thank you very much. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Your Excellency, Sahil bin Muhammad al-Mazrui, Minister of Energy, Prince Saud bin Abdullah, Chairman of SABIC, Your Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. It is great pleasure for me to join you this dis to join you in this distinguished audience at the opening of the ninth Jibka Forum. And I am equally pleased to note the growing importance of this forum, which has become a flagship petrochemical gathering in the whole Middle East. At the onset, I'd like to take a moment to recognize the dedicated efforts of the Gulf Petro Petrochemical and Chemical Association, which represent the common interest of the downstream hydrocarbon industry in the Arabian Gulf. This is clearly reflected by the association's amazing growth in membership, which today includes the manufacturers of almost 95% of the Gulf region's total petrochemical outputs. I'm confident that under the leadership of uh, the chairman, uh, Mohammed Al Mahdi and the Secretary General Abdul Wahab Al Saudun, Jibka will continue to move forward in its mission to support the growth and sustainable development of petrochemicals and chemicals industry in the Gulf. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's conference is focused on the strategic direction of the chemical industry. The significance of this theme is elevated and amplified by the nature and the size of Gulf investments in the petrochemical industry and its efforts to utilize hydrocarbon resources and create added value. The strategic importance of such investments dictates upon us all to take a prevailing global trend, and to closely follow the many developments affecting our industry, such as the growth of the global economy, the future demand for petrochemicals, and the impact of competitiveness. However, there are three significant developments that can be certainly influence the that can certainly influence the strategic direction of the petrochemical and chemical industry in the coming years. The first such development is the price of oil. As we have all seen in the past few weeks, oil prices have reached their lowest levels in more than four years, causing concerns that current and future petrochemical prices could be impacted as a result. Therefore, downstream project economies are expected to be re-examined and reassessed, particularly as prices continue to fall and as the future forecast expects a new chapter in its history and the history of oil prices. Another important development is the impact of U.S. shale gas on the petrochemical industry and on the competitiveness of our region's petrochemical products. U.S. shale gas has already changed the long-term outlook for the United States and the global gas market. It has placed downward pressure on domestic gas prices, consequently reviving the American petrochemical industry. 
And finally, one must not forget the potential impact of China's coal-based polyethylene, which could boost its plastic industry and could become a relatively low-cost alternative to products from our regions or those produced using North American shale gas. There is no doubt that these three main developments could pose a serious challenge to our region's petrochemical and chemical industry and may affect its competitive edge as a result. Therefore, it is vital for this leading forum to consider these developments with an eye to safeguarding the region's industry and the common interest of all its components and stakeholders. Furthermore, there is a growing need to place a great emphasis on developing the GCC's innovative capabilities in order to stimulate and revi revitalize our industry's competitiveness in light of these challenges. In this context, I'd like to highlight one important fact. In 2012, our industry has invested some $380 million on R&D initiatives, which constitutes a 30% increase over 2011. It is true that this growth percentage is higher than the 10% global average R&D expenditure, but is it all going in the right direction? Our region, region's spending is less than 1% of the global industry total, while our patents are only 0.4% of the global total. Altogether, 75% of the industry's R&D spending in the region is geared towards maintaining and advancing existing technologies, while the remaining 25% is invested in a new chemistry. I believe that the time has come for this to change. Your Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, Gulf region's petrochemical industry has witnessed a tremendous growth in the last 25 years and it is expected to see consistent growth in the near future. JIBCA estimates that petrochemical uh, producers in the Arabian Gulf will increase their capability by almost 50%, producing more than 190 million tons by the year 2020. This is a result of a well-planned efforts by the GCC countries, which ensured that all building blocks were in place before taking on this challenge. Available feedstock, inherent economies of scale, and large investment have all helped creating a compelling success story in this region. Making this industry, the second largest manufacturing sector in the region, producing almost $100 billion worth of products a year. It is worth mentioning here that the establishment of CAPCO in Qatar 40 years ago marked the start of the Gulf petrochemical industry. The development of Qatar's downstream petrochemical industries were a direct result of a far-sighted policy to harness the tremendous potential of our hydrocarbon resources, thus creating an additional sector of opportunities for the production of a new intermediate and derivative products. As Qatar aims to reach the full potential of its downstream Portfolio ambitious plans are currently under implementation to consolidate its position as a major pl player in the industry. Our long-term 
hydrocarbon development strategy is opening new opportunities for further downstream development, which include boosting Qatar's petrochemical output. This, ladies and gentlemen, will take Qatar one step further towards implementing its national vision as proclaimed and guided by His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir of the State of Qatar. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to stress that our region will continue to be a dominant force in the production of petrochemicals. We need to ca capitalize on existing opportunities by leveraging our technical expertise, expanding our global footprint, and taking hold of our commercial advantages. We also need to tackle other issues like global trends affecting the use of petrochemical products, the pursuit of energy efficiency and saving, the development of new sources of feedstock, and the delivery of upcoming projects in the region in a timely and cost-effective manner. Our industry champions gathered here today are more than capable of managing growth and competitiveness of this cyclical industry as it meets the challenges ahead. This forum is indeed the most fitting catalyst for ideas and the facilitator for sharing knowledge and expertise in the quest to explore and assess the strategic direction of the chemical industry. I'd like to thank the Gulf Petrochemicals and Chemical uh, Association for organizing this great event and for giving the opportunity to address the distinguished audience. By, thank by thanks, my thanks also go to all those who helped organizing this forum. Thank you for uh, your attention and I wish you all the best.